check out this absolutely stunning 2006 Ricky Carmichael championship winning replica. He won the 2005 Supercross, one of the last years on the four stroke, uh, excuse me, on the two stroke before the four strokes uh, switched to the 450s. This thing is, this is owned by the Manic Mechanic. This is his personal motorcycle. So it's tuned to the nines and it hauls ass. These are the, all the original graphics on it. It hasn't been redone. It's a low hour original survivor. I've got a work order here of all the stuff he has done to it. It's absolutely beautiful and it hauls ass. It's a kick-ass bike for, for uh, motocross or hair scrambles, or if you want a woods ride or just play ride, I can't think of a more fun bike than a 252 shark, especially this one. This is an absolute diamond. When uh, in 96, when McGrath switched over in 97 to Suzuki because Honda went to the aluminum frame. The Suzuki frame was the, the, the closest handling frame to the, the notoriously good handling 93 to 96 CRs and the engines are on point. It's an absolutely world-class motorcycle. Jeff is 65 years old. He's getting up there in, in, in years. And if, if you watch the channel, you know he fell out of a, a tree, 16 feet out of a tree. We actually got it on video. He bounced off the ground, broke his hip, broke his shoulder. They thought he fractured his back, but he thinks that was a previous motorcycle action accident for, uh, from when he crashed at Southwick. But um, this is his personal bike. He's a professional mechanic. It doesn't need anything. It's ready to go. I do have some notes of what he has done re recently. He released both wheels with new spokes and replaced the tires and the tubes, put new wheel bearings in it. If you look at the front broke brake rotor, he put a new Golfer large front brake rotor with it and a new braided steel front brake line. Uh, rebuilt the front forks, new fork seals and fluid, put a new throttle cable on it. Um, on the rear, you can see he put a beautiful uh, black and gold rear sprocket on it with the gold chain. The um, complete rear shock linkage, he put all new bearings in it and he put new swing arm bearings and bushings in it. So all the bearings and bushings in the rear end are brand new. And he sent out the shock to factory connection and had it completely rebuilt. That, that alone was 450 bucks. So the shock's been redone, the fork's been redone. All the, the bearings have been redone, the wheels are redone, it's in, and the motor is essentially brand new. It's, it's a, it hauls ass. Uh, the clutch, the transmission, everything seems to work beautifully. Uh, I've only, this is the first time I rode it. I generally, uh, uh, he wouldn't let anybody else ride it, but he's putting it up for sale and he asked me to do the video for him. So here it is. I haven't seen one of these. We haven't had a single one of these come through the shop. Um, we, we, Andrew, is Andrew still in the shop? I don't know. For other mechanics, Andrew had the same exact bike as this the year before, non-Ricky Carmichael version. Um, the video is on the channel recently. So look, just punching Kaplan RM250, it was like a month ago. Very similar bike to this, but not an RC special. It didn't have the factory connection suspension. We auctioned his off and it sold for $79.50. Jeff would be happy with that on this one. We're gonna auction it off too. The reserve will be a little bit less than that. And um, hopefully it'll go to a good home. The guy behind the camera is, uh, uh, wants to buy it too, Ronnie. So. Uh, it, it, uh, it would make a perfect first motocross bike for Ron, but um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Either way, uh, it, it, it should be up on, on eBay this weekend if it does make it there. Uh, if not, that means Ron got it, but um, take a close look at it. You'll see it's nice and straight. The exhaust has a uh, uh, top of the line Pro Circuit Platinum pipe on it. The factory connection suspension. It's got the um, R304. Pro Circuit, Factory Sound, Stainless Shorty Silencer, just pure moto porn, man. This thing is an absolute weapon on, on, on and off the track. A lot of fun. Look at the original radiators. Look at how straight they are. Usually the fins are all bent over on them and everything. Now, Jeff's, in, Jeff's uh, you know, 60 something years old and uh, he rode it at Southwick twice. Most of the riding he did was, was, was around um, the compound or uh, at the tracks up by his house in Mass. But look at the frame rails on it, man. These are, are these, now, what we did not do, this didn't go down to the detail shop. There's been no touch-up paint on it. There's not a single ding on this frame rail. You see any dings, Ron? No, sir. California frame rails. California frame rails. Unretouched California frame rails. Once they're painted, how do you know? But check, check out this side here. How do you know? Original paint and graphics is freaking remarkable. Look at this one. Absolute diamond. Ron, I, I suggest you take your bank, your money out of the bank and sign the papers. <laughs> uh, this is, it doesn't get any better than this. And like I said, uh, the Manic Mechanic, all the bearings are super tight on this. This is a bike you could take right to the racetrack today. Today. Exactly the way it is and race it and do well. And if you didn't do good, you have no one to blame but yourself. Um, world class 
two stroke, 250 RM, twin air filter. Everything is done on the bike and it's mechanically perfect. It's all original. The frame paint's original, unretouched. And it's the RC special. They only made this, I think they made this, I think it was uh, a year and a half or two two years they might have made, made this, but it was a limited production 0506 Makita Suzuki, Ricky Carmichael replica. It's as good as it gets, man. Like my dad used to say, if you wouldn't be happy with this, you'll never be happy. This is things a diamond. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching and God bless America. So Jeff, uh, I guess the time has finally come. You, you really haven't ridden it since you fell out of the tree and broke your hip and your shoulder. No, I bought you. I started working here two years ago. You guys got all racing. You got me all hyped up to do it again because I used to race and all that. But I got the bike put like 1500 bucks into it and I rode it two laps around Southwick and that's all it's been ridden since I put all that work into it. So it's basically, like I said, it's ready to go right to the track right now. Yeah, I uh, first day out on it, half a lap at Southwick and I bottomed out and hurt my back and I said, F this, I'm, I just, I'm too old, my body's too old. How old are you, Jeff? I'm gonna be 64 in about two months. And you're still riding daily uh, on the street bikes, but oh, yeah, I can still I can still rip wheelies and all that shit. I just can't take the crashing. Yeah, and after you falling out of the tree, you broke your shoulder yeah, and your I hip. I fell 16 you? feet out of a tree and broke my dislocated my shoulder, broke my hip, broke fractured my scapula. I was messed up bad. And that, that was only like a, a year and a half ago, right? It was yeah, it was a year ago this past January. So, so you, you probably w would have been heading to Unadilla with this with us, but uh, in Southwick. But with those kind of injuries, um, it's probably best he stays off the track. So uh, it's going up for sale. And like I said, Jeff, the frame rails on this thing are pristine. There's not a single ding in the frame rails. The frame on this is a diamond. And we just sold. Hey, Andrew, your bike. What year was yours? 06. And yours sold for how much? 5800. Oh, the Kenny said it was 7,900. 5,800? 5, oh, I have a helmet on. I can't hear shit, but I thought he said 7,800. His sold for 5,800. Did yours have California frame rails like this? Yeah, my frame rails were good. They're mid. Yeah. It wasn't an art, was it? What was different between your bike and this bike? It was just a stock OEM. It didn't. It wasn't an RC replica. Oh, This okay. thing made 43 horse on the dyno last year. Yeah, we did dyno this. Uh, I wonder if, we, if Junior could... Uh, uh, pull that video up, the dyno video. We did dyno this, it was 40, was it more than the new Husqvarna or about the same? In the mid-range, it was eight horsepower better than the yeah, Husqvarna, but on the top, I think the Husky had one more, one and a half more horse than yeah. that. Yeah. He was like 44 something, this was 43. 43 is pretty powerful if you think about it, like a, a CR500 puts a stop on 52. A new CRF 450 that we dynoed had 42. No, it was 49. Oh, was it? Well, it was 49, and then, then we cooled it down, and we we kind of uh, gave it a, a best kit inches and arrow, and it just broke 50. And then we did a we did a um, 450 works edition, which has the, the, the custom heads, and that pulled 52. On the I was thinking of Mario's new bike. Remember his y, his YZ 450 pulled like 52 also, or 53. I thought it was the same as the magazine, exact same number. Remember? It yeah, it was it was in the it was in the in low 50s. I have, have to check on the computer. It's all, it's, it's all on the videos. The videos are all up there. Uh, our memories as we get older aren't as good as they used to be, but a 40, 43 horse, right? Yeah. Pretty stout. Anyways, give us a call. Uh, give Junior a call. It's Jeff's bike. We're, we're putting it up for him. It's a diamond. It's ready to race. Give us a call. 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching and God bless America.